So this person is talking about with the design and color and how I think Mirror's Edge actually did it beautifully where you move really fast through the world and you always know where to go because of the feel and look of it. Right? They did, did a really nice job with that. I think this is a good version of, of that color coding. But it makes me realize now there's something else I wanted to talk about. I didn't know how to talk about it. And I realized I am this person for Mirror's Edge. Um, so somebody wrote me nicely. I don't know why I got held for comment, but it did. And I, I didn't approve it because it's, it's, a, it's a weird thing for me. Is, uh, hey, Chet, would you be willing to do a Left 4 Dead uh, 2 development virtual interview video? I oversee structure, a structural a structured project that is based on remaking Left 4 Dead 2's E3 demo build also known as the Love for Dead 2 beta pack. Your insight as one of the Love for Dead 2 developers would be very exciting for us. There's plenty that we don't know about that lost build. Uh, please write me back and let me know. So first of all, no, I won't. Because that build never, like, I don't know what that build was. Man, I, I couldn't tell you what's in that build or not in that build. We don't think of that. Developers don't think that way at all, especially the, any build you played at an event was done you know weeks ago and then people already moving on like like things don't stay stagnant i know a lot of people for the left for dead one wanted to talk about the left for dead beta the magical beta but the reality is besides francis's here hair hair uh most of that beta uh only worked on one nvidia card i had to travel around with the drivers for that one nvidia card uh and install it because it only worked with those drivers that game was buggy, problematic, and a whole host of problems with it. Oh my god, it was fatiguing in the dark. Like there's a bunch of problems with it. We made the game better, um, but people fantasize about this, right? And that community in particular is super toxic. Yes, I'm calling you out, man. Your your death threats to me and everything else because I I don't know I don't know, right? And so for this, I won't engage with this either because honestly, for the Left 4 Dead 2 E3 demo. And there's nothing special about that build except that was what was there that day. We didn't change characters or things or anything. I have no idea. Like, all right, so to me, that's crazy. And that's just like, man, why are you doing this? Why are you uh, even bringing this up? Like, I'm not a nostalgic person. Uh, except, I guess I realize it's a little bit of myself. So like, my, my question was originally going to be this, like, you know, do, do you do you as do you players feel this as well? But the reality is um, Mirror's Edge. I got to be in the first time the team working on it showed it to EA internally. I think I'm not talking about this now. It's like 15 years ago. I was at an event in Munich uh, showing Left 4 Dead. Um, and they had a night where they showed games off new things right and there's some there's some there's some wacky wacky things they showed off and that was so saw the light of day but they showed mirror's edge and it had zero combat in it at that moment and it was just like oh my god uh i've still talked with one of the designers on that a couple times uh and i have the original shirt somewhere i put that away special that's that one i, I appreciate it's also white and it, not very well made shirt yay uh but okay, I had that, right? And, I, and when it came out, I lamented that they put guns in and I kind of get why they put guns in because um, yeah, I had, a, I guess, I don't know. Somewhere during the design process, I trust them. They were smart enough to show this and I trust them. There was a point where they realized they had to put combat in. But part of me wants to go back and play that build without combat. But I should know better. I know they made the right choices along the way because they were testing. But right, I still do that. And so I want to be like all high and mighty of to this person asking this other question to me about the Left 4 Dead 2 E3 build. But I guess I have that in me. I just don't, I guess I just don't say it because I know the pain. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. You know, most because most developers aren't going to know that. Like seriously, the E3 demo build, man, it just doesn't exist. Like that concept in our head of this is the build didn't exist. We made a game in a year. We were moving fast. We were moving fast. I think three or four people from the team went down and everybody else stayed up working and doing stuff, um, right? Like we were moving fast. The only thing I remember about that E3 was getting punched in the face by first day positive, second day 
uh, boycott, 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 and that's all we then talked about. And then, yeah. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I can't help you with that. But I guess I do have a little bit about that about uh, Mirror's Edge. Man, if anyone has that build. No, but see, I shouldn't do that because that's unfair. I know that feeling. So I guess this person asked me nicely about it, and so maybe I should respond nicely and not lump the toxicity of the other people who involved. I mean, people literally made sexual stories about me and other people on the team about because they were so mad about this. Like somehow, I don't know, man. I don't people are people and also like people weirdly get in that like you are somehow responsible for this or it wasn't a team thing, but this thing, I don't know, this thing, you, you so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's still weird. It's still weird to me. And I was gonna be super high and mighty on this of how I don't do this, but then I just thought of Mirror's Edge. Would have been fun to play without guns. But that's it. And it's still it's still it's still a nice game. It's still a nice game. It's still a nice game. So uh yeah. Yeah. So I have to leave it on a bad note. But uh today is uh Fat Tuesday and a holiday for us, for me. I'm eating punch key and uh could have some black and trim po' boy. And this has really gone off the rails uh about anything to do with Mirror's Edge even at this point. Yeah. Have a good holiday.